Top NATO scientist with security clearance busted spying for China. This post received a score of 7,200, with an up-vote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. For $20,000. I never understand people who sell secrets to state agents for that cheap. This article looks at this question. It's been a while since I read it, but my take would be that the money in itself wasn't the primary motivator. More likely that they had some ego issues, wanted to feel important, were disgruntled, or were looking for a thrill. Remember when they discovered that Paul Manafort's password was Bond 007 in their investigation of his ties to Russia? Definitely an ego thing. My brain hurts. Greater than Kautz received cash payments from his Chinese handlers as well as paid trips to various Asian countries, with luxury accommodations and dinners at Michelin star restaurants. That must have hard to spot for the counterintelligence people. Spies getting caught are those who fuck up and are those that are expendable. So now I will have to a shitload more online classes about protecting classified information and insider threats when I'm a worker bee with little to no access to sensitive information. But yet it is the people with top-level clearances that are spies or leaking info to the press. SMDH. Does SMDH stand for shacking my dickhead? I am not a native speaker. Damn, presumably. He only got three years? For 20k basically and didn't get charged with treason? Seems light to me. The article suggests he didn't give up much in the way of secrets, and they nabbed him before he could do so. Anyone going to say anything about his last name being Toots? Couts and Toots. According to Alexander Toots, the deputy director of Capo and Talon's top counterintelligence official, Kautz was recruited in 2018 by China's Intelligence Bureau of the Joint Staff Department of the Central Military Commission as Beijing's military intelligence agency is known along with an alleged accomplice who is yet to be tried in court. Both were arrested on September 9, 2020, with no publicity or discussion of the case in the Estonian media. Kautz pleaded guilty to conducting intelligence activities against the Republic of Estonia on behalf of a foreign state. Kautz was recruited on Chinese territory, said Toots, who spoke exclusively with the Daily Beast and Estonia's Delphi newspaper. He was motivated by traditional human weaknesses, such as money and need of recognition. God, what an annoying and boringly long name. Makes me appreciate how succinct U.S. agency names are in comparison. It's not that long in Chinese. It gets longer when translated to English. Greater than Zhong Yang Jun Wei Lian Hei can Mu Bu Qing Bao Ju. If that's not long by Chinese standards, then I'm honestly scared to see what's actually long lol. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.